The Stanley Awards are the highest honours bestowed on cartoonists in Australia and they're on again tomorrow night in Canberra. But joining us now to tell us a bit more are two of the nominees, Kerry Millard and, and Warren Brown. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Steve. I think it's, it's an occasion like tomorrow night's in Canberra that you suddenly realise just how much talent this country has yeah. and the tradition in cartooning that we have. Yes, well, um, Australia's always been recognised as, as the place to find very, very good cartoonists. Mm. In fact, um, you know, two of the, the, the most well-known editorial political cartoonists, uh, Paul Rigby and Pat Oliphant, who are enormous in the United States, are both mm. Australian, you know, and uh, that's, a, that's a fantastic thing. You've been doing it. Uh, you just keep working. <laughs> get to you. you've, Warren, you, you've, you've been doing it for 13 years now. Do you ever that's tire right. of it? Oh, sometimes. Uh, sometimes uh, when uh, the Daily Mirror used to be around, I used to work in the Daily Mirror, I would start it at 3 o'clock in the morning. I used to tire of it then, that wasn't mm. so much fun. But the Telegraph Mirror, um, I, I enjoy that very, very much. Uh, sometimes it's a bit hard, uh, it's harder to come up with ideas and, uh, and you can sit around and, and pick over stories. And you work best to a deadline? Absolutely. I'm that sort of person. Everything I do has to be to a deadline. Yeah. And just, just walk, walk me through how, how you function. I mean, you go to the editorial meeting. That's right. You listen to them editors and the reporters That's bounce right. their stories around. Yes. Now, when that meeting's over, is it left to you to decide what it is you're going to illustrate, or do they say to you, listen, we want one of uh, the Prime Minister and the Opposition Leader? No, it doesn't really work like that. It's left to me. Mm. Uh, I have a free reign, which is a terrific thing, as all cartoonists should should have. Uh, but uh, at least at the editorial conference, I can get a bit of a handle on right. on what's going to happen in the next day's paper. So. I'm not drawing a cartoon that's uh, you know about in a story conflict. that's that's yeah. right that's uh, that's about a story on page 50. Yeah. So I know what's going on. Kerry, you're a freelancer. Yes. And yeah. I am amazed at the number of freelance cartoonists that this country can boast. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people sitting away in corners here and there, chugging. Away. I think that's the reason that the Stanleys is such a nice event, because it's uh, the time when we get to dust ourselves off and go and actually sit with other people. So tell me how, how you work. I mean, Warren's there every day at the editorial meeting, getting a, getting a line on what it is he might do. Do you submit ideas or how, I mean... How... Well, it depends. Um, I draw for the Sydney Morning Herald, the Stay In Touch page, and, right. and at the moment I'm drawing uh, regularly because Kathy Wilcox has gone on holiday, right. and uh, I recommend she goes on holiday a lot. <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> I get a chance to get, get a bit of a look in. Do you ever at stare things. at a blank page oh, and yes. panic? Oh, yes. When I first started drawing for Stay in, in Touch, it, it, you know how when you go in to do an exam, there's that moment where you can oh, choose yes. between I'm just going to relax and do what I, I know, I'll put that down, or I'm going to panic. Well, I started out with that absolute panic, sitting there thinking, it's four o'clock, I've got three hours to have something that has to be in the paper by three o'clock, right. by, by seven o'clock at night. Ah, I'm not going to be able to do this. But after doing it for a year now, I'm finding it's a, it's a lot better. And I love those deadlines. I mean, I, I know you work on papers all the time, but I draw mostly for, I guess, magazines. Yeah. And I find the newspaper is like a conversation with somebody. It's, it's here today, gone tomorrow. I mean, you, you draw something. I know, I know tomorrow morning someone will be looking at it, and then they'll wrap it, the rubbish up in it and it's ah, gone. But now, before they look at it, before they wrap it up, on last night's fish and chips or whatever and toss mm. it out, they form a view. Now I want to know how both of you judge whether you've hit the target or not. Is it <coughs> on the volume of abuse or the volume of praise you get? Oh, well, for me it's the volume of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Stop lucky thing? Yeah. Absolutely. So, oh, yeah. I mean, phone if the phone rings and the voice oh, says yeah. it's Keating here, what the hell do you think absolutely. you're doing? Yeah. You know it's work. Oh yeah, absolutely. Has That's it ever quite happened? Right. It has happened. Not, um, it's, it's funny, Some uh, is a certain uh, state politician who uh, was very, very keen on ensuring that I never worked again. So, uh, but, uh, you know, I had phone calls to the editor and the yeah. editor-in-chief and, uh, you know... And how, how right do you judge here. your success? Oh, well, see, I work on my own. I have, I have a cockatiel that sits on my shoulder and a dog that sleeps in the chair. And, you, you were know, a vet. I was a vet. This is yeah. a huge leap from <laughs> vaccinating cats and, uh, you know... Uh, yeah. Now, actually, the, the, the funniest difference, as a vet, when I used to go onto a property, or when someone would come in for a consultation, everybody was really serious. As a cartoonist, when you walk into a room, everybody just sort of relaxes and, and you know, that. So I you think get them with their guard down. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And the, it, yeah. The, the other thing you've done is you've both illustrated children's books. That's right. Yeah. And I guess that must bring a great deal of satisfaction. Uh, yeah. Cartooning is a fantastic 
a fantastic way to communicate with kids. Yeah. I, um, I've just come back from the Northern Territory and uh, visited a school up there, and uh, a mixed school of Aboriginal kids and white kids, and you could break down any barrier by drawing cartoons with those kids. Yeah. You know, it's just mm. a fantastic thing. Well, listen, we've got to go. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, oh hang on, quick. Yeah. <laughs> just going to finish this last little bit here. Black it out. I'll black it in. And good luck to both of you in Canberra tomorrow. I know the thank competition's you. fierce, but boy... It certainly is. Oh, it's I hope great.